I'm gonna use this video to uh, catch up. All right, um, I went on ahead and uh, disassembled it, took the face mask off, put all the hardware in this bag. Here's the uh, padding for the inside of the helmet, and here are the uh, earbuds. We make our way over here. The first thing I did was, I don't know if we can get a good picture of that, but I went on and painted the inside of the helmet first because the uh, first helmet I did, I didn't paint the inside of it, and it looks cool, but you can see that um, I missed some stuff. Let's go over here and take a look at it. Let's see if we can turn this light on right here. Let's see if we can see it in here. So like if you look in that helmet there, see the, that I missed all of that in there? Because I taped it off. So what I said was, this next one that I do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint the inside of it. So here we are, getting caught up to speed right here. Right now I'm about to hit the shell, the outside of the shell, and we'll do that with about um, uh, about two to three coats. And what I learned about this stuff here is, um, I'm so used to using one stage paint or the non-primer uh, paint. I'm used to using that so I get a little bit closer to the material or to what I'm painting. And what I found out was I had a lot of runs. So that first helmet I did, I ended up wet sanding all the runs out. It came out pretty cool, but just for point of reference, with this type of paint here, you have to stay away from the helmet a little bit more or whatever it is that you're painting. So we'll jump back in when I finish painting. All right, I'm back. I uh, went on and painted it, put a coat on the top of it. And uh, it has some slight like uh, scratches in it from the uh, sandpaper I used. A few runs, I don't know if you can see that right there. So what we're gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let it dry up and then I'm gonna wet sand it, which is something that I try to do anyway as wet sand because it just gives it a real nice glassy look. So what I'll do is, we won't look at this as a mistake, we'll look at it as, I was gonna wet sand it anyway, right? So um, and what I use is uh, this, I got this 400 grit, 400 grit uh, sandpaper that I use. It's made by Gator. We'll wet sand it with that. As a matter of fact, last the my last helmet I had so many bad runs in it. Uh, it sounds crazy, but I wet sanded it with a 220 grit. Yeah, and it, and it helped me get all those runs out. And then I uh, kind of uh, wet sanded the rest of it. I wet sanded the runs with uh, like 220 grit. Then I wet sanded the rest of it with like uh, 400 grit. Then I hit it with another uh, coat of paint. And then um, let that dry. Then I wet sanded it again and then I hit it with clear. So yeah, so we'll get back at this and I'm gonna try to make it so that you don't see those runs right. And here's the funny thing about this paint. See, if the paint looks dull, that's because it's a, it's a flat, it's a uh, satin paint. So I wet sand that down, I throw a clear on it and you can never tell, the, you couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't find a dark, and right now it looks kind of bright because of the lights, but this is actually a really, really dark blue. Like not even on a cap can you really tell, it looks bright but it's actually really really dark so um when i uh hit it hit this hit it with this wet sandpaper and get it all prepped again to shoot some more paint on it uh we'll start recording it i will i record it afterward because i can't hold this in pants so i wet sanded it i had a couple of runs in it and the helmet and stuff so what i did was i ended up i wet sanded it and got all the runs out and now i just hit it with my first um uh first uh coat of clear so right after this clear dries up, we're gonna go ahead and hit it again. And uh, depending on how it takes, if it takes real well, I'll just go ahead and I'll just leave it, you know, just, I won't wet sand or anything. But if it doesn't take real well, we'll go ahead and wet sand it clear and then go ahead and give it a couple more coats. But yeah, I got all of the runs out of this thing. Man, it's really coming out pretty. Here's a weird thing, like if, as I'm looking through my my view right here, I'm looking at this through the uh, eye finder whatever viewfinder or whatever this paint almost looks royal blue but it's not royal blue it's a really really dark color and um this camera is really isn't really given or showing this helmet any justice at all because it really looks royal blue and in actuality it kind of puts you in the mind of that shadow right there that's how dark it is but uh, as i look through it with all the lights in here it kind of looks royal blue but man this thing is really coming out nice and yeah, I'll, um, we'll wait till this dries and we'll hit it again. And then if it comes out really nice and glassy looking, we'll just let it stay as it is. 
and we will um uh, we won't have to wet sand it but if it doesn't take real well we're going to go ahead and wet sand it and hit it with some more clear more to come hang on like i said before when you use this this paint this type of paint you have to kind of stay away from your once you stay away from your work a little bit because it will run now i've been lucky enough to be in a situation where i'm so used to using this paint now that it doesn't run very much on it and I once, uh, earlier that, we took a little clip earlier and I said I might have to wet sand this. Uh, it came out pretty good, so I'm not gonna wet sand it. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with this extra clear here. And once this is uh, dry, we should be good to go. And here it is, all done. Well, done with the painting and the hardware. Um, I went on and put everything back in. I tried to plug everything in. So it looked look as, as authentic as possible. Great paint job, real smooth. Um, I said in an earlier video or earlier part of this video that I would have to wet sand it but it actually came out really nice and I didn't have to. Um, the only thing I had to wet sand was the runs and I got them all out, every last one of them out. I actually wet sanded it with, uh, it sounds weird, but I wet sanded it with 220 grit and then uh, once I got that down then I went on to uh, uh, the 280 then finally 400 and it came out really nice. And here they are, all three of the Bears' former helmets, except for that leather one that I can't reproduce, but we got the helmet they wear now, the helmet that they all wore in the 70s, and then the helmet that they wore uh, prior to the 70s. You know, but we did them all in Rebel Speeds. Some people might say, well, that is not authentic throwback or whatever, but what I tried to do is uh, make all three of them um, like, like the original, but I wanted to put my own little span on them, so that's how it came out. Like that, all three. Now, then I also, then I also found the uh, visor here, the Nike visor here, uh, pretty cheap. And it's weird because when I was doing these, I kind of upgraded or did something extra as I went along. I don't know if you could look inside the helmet there, in there, and then see how it's not painted. Then we come down to this one. There, see it's painted in there, and then in this one, I didn't put the ear hole back in the ear uh, back in yet, but the whole helmet was painted. I painted the whole thing, and then so I gradually got you know, so I figured, all right, you know, forget it, I'll just go ahead and you know, make it a little bit better. Big buckets, <laughs> Mike Singletary, and Brian or like I got all three of them. best three linebackers in the history of Chicago Bears, I think. So I got this one here, kind of matched that Rebel. This is a Rebel too, but that thing has a bias on it. But it has a bias on it. A lot of reflection here, so much glass. But yeah. That's cool. but yeah, it's fun doing it. And if you got any questions, go ahead and email me and I'll try to help you out. Uh, re quick, a quick recap, I went to uh, Academy and I got this one for 35. And this one 35, they were on clearance. And I went back and for some reason this one was 69. And I was like, I don't know what I think it's 69 bucks. So I asked the manager and he didn't know. So what he did, and this helmet was really beat up. Like people was trying that thing on running to walls or something. So he ended up giving me 70% off of it. So I paid less for this than I did these two. And then I later found out because of the face mask. See that right there? See this face mask? And this face mask. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one.